hello everyone welcome back to my channel jp khasi tech so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe let's start the project first of all let's go to xml file here and open layout and inside the layout this is our xml file and let's go and create the radio button first so radio button i'm gonna put inside the radio group okay so i'm gonna create the radio group first radio group and height and weight i'm gonna give the wrap content here i'm gonna give empty okay so inside this one I put two radio button so first i'm gonna say radio button height and weight i'm gonna give wrap content and then let me give the id for this the id i'm gonna say radio underscore and this is radio button one now let me give the text for the radio button okay the text will be okay now let me increase the text size i'm gonna give 35 sp now look nice now let me just for the next button i'm, I'm gonna copy this one and just paste inside the radio group okay now let me change the id of this one id must be unique so i'm gonna call this one radio view. okay now let me change the text also now why i use this radio group radio group will allow all this button to be inside and then this will allow to check only single radio button at one time okay so let's everything look good now let me bring little far so i'm gonna give the margin top so i'm gonna give 30 dp now it's look good now let's go to java class yeah and then let's first initialize the radio button so i'm gonna call it private radio button and then i'm gonna call it radio underscore this is one okay comma and the next button i'm gonna say radio underscore and this is radio button 2 now close it now let's go and initialize the button and on create method so i'm gonna call the radio button first this one copy and paste here okay. now equal find viva id r dot id dot radio button 1 okay close it now for the next i'm gonna copy this first one copy and then paste here okay the variable must be different i'm going to give this one second variable here okay now this id also must be different so i'm going to call it this is the two okay radio two now initializing has been com completed now let's go and set the on change listener for the radio button so let me just take the variable first i'm going to do the first this one paste i'm going to say dot set on check change listener okay the inside the parameter i'm gonna give new and here you have to use compound button okay new compound button okay so this first one enter and you see now this is the on check change listener for the first radio button okay so now let's go and change this name boolean so we are going to use this boolean so i'm gonna say this is the boolean of one okay now for the under radio button i'm gonna copy this one and then paste over here and then the name variable must be different this is now button two. okay now next i'm gonna change the boolean type also i'm gonna give two, two underscore is check now we have done now let's create the save method and then retrieve method for the value so i'm gonna go here outside so here i'm gonna write first for the safe method okay so i'm gonna call it private void i'm gonna call the safe into share reps okay now open and close parenthesis outside the open close parenthesis give open and close curly bracket and go to the curly bracket now inside the curly bracket we have to define the method to save the 
value okay now let's go and create the shape reference because we are saving this value inside the shape reference so i'm gonna call it shape reference okay now i'm gonna give this short name sp now equal get share preference okay now inside the parameter we have to give the string name and then the mode type so i'm gonna call here first double quotation and the string name i'm gonna use jp underscore tech okay comma then here after the comma i'm gonna give the mode type so this is mode private okay so now done close this one okay now we have created the share preference now let us put the value inside the share preference okay then we need the editor so i'm gonna say share preference dot editor okay now variable is editor equal now let's take the share preference variable here copy and then paste here now i'm gonna say dot edit okay now close it now let's put the value here but before putting that create that inside this parameter okay can you see save share preference and inside this parameter we are going to create the string and then boolean okay so let's say string and then the string i'm gonna say key comma then we need one boolean boolean and then boolean i'm gonna say the value okay done now let's put this value inside the share preference and this we can do with the help of editor so just take this editor first copy and then paste here then dot put boolean because we are going to put the boolean okay so now here we have to give the string and then the value remember i have defined this here string is a key and the boolean is value now let's put this two value inside there so i'm gonna take first the key or the string first give here and then comma after the comma you just paste this value okay now close it i'm gonna say editor dot apply okay now everything look good now let's go and retrieve the value okay whenever the app stand okay now here we have to define one more method that will retrieve the value back let's go over here okay and then let's say one more method private and this time we are going to say the boolean boolean and the name i'm gonna give update now give open and close parenthesis and open and close curly bracket just give inside the curly bracket now here we are going to use the share preference to retrieve the value okay so i'm gonna call it share preference okay sp equal get share preference okay so inside the parameter i have to give whatever it is here the same okay name and then the mode type so i'm gonna give that one so inside here just copy this one and then paste here with the double quotation press inside then after that give comma and after comma define the mode type it is private okay now close it now return the value with the help of return method so here we are going to return the value from the share preference i'm going to take this sp paste here i'm going to call one method dot get boolean okay now here boolean type we have to get the string and then the value is false so let's first define the string now can you see guys here this update and just inside this parenthesis you give the string so stri in the string and the string value i'm going to call it just a key okay now next retrieve the string here okay so i'm gonna call it key comma and then give the default value is false clear now everything done now let's use this value to save and then to retrieve in the radio button so let's go and do so whenever the user will click this button i want that the value will be safe in the share preference so how we can do that one first of all copy this one and then paste here okay now here you have to give the open and close parenthesis first so i'm gonna give open and close parenthesis then inside the open and close parenthesis we have to define the string and then we have to put the check value so i'm gonna define the string string i'm gonna say just for simplicity i'm gonna call jp underscore one okay 
this is the button one i'm gonna say now give comma here after comma we have to put the value so value mean this boolean value we have to put okay the variable is this one right copy this one and then put here now done and then close this one Control l l to rearrange everything look good now whenever the user will click this button the value will be safe inside the share preference okay this one this one value converted into string now this will be retrieve letter here now the value will be safe now let's do for the second button also i'm gonna copy this one again copy here paste and then give open and close parentheses inside the parentheses we have to define double quotation and define the string name so i'm gonna call it this also jp underscore then this time i'm gonna say this is pwo okay now give comma and after the comma we are going to give the value so this time the value is not one is checked but this time value we are going to put the value of this one which is the two okay this one so i'm gonna select and then copy this here okay now it's look good now close it control alt l to rearrange now it's look good now whenever the user will click any of this button the value will be safe in the share preference now how we can retrieve those value back whenever the user will restart the apps okay so now let's go here again now now copy this one first okay copy this one first then go up then here just after the initializing can you see this is our radio button just after this one here you take the variable of radio button first so i'm gonna take it our adio i'm going to do for the first button then i'm gonna say dot set check okay dot set check inside this parameter we have to give whatever we have saved remember we have uh, copy one method from below this one update method copy this one okay now go up and then paste inside this okay after pasting that one give open and close parenthesis again so inside this parenthesis we have to define the string what type of string i have saved so i have this string right so i'm gonna put here this give open and close now i'm gonna give the key it was jp underscore and it was one clear now for the next button i'm just gonna copy this one and then paste here now change the variable to two now set check update same then key this time this will be why because i have saved the string to here yeah, right so this is the button two now let's go and run the project if it's work okay guys the app has run properly now let's see what happened whenever the user will check this radio button let me check first this okay can you see the radio button has been checked let me close the app and reopen it can you see the value has been saved now let me go to second one and close the app reopen it can you see the value has been saved now and let me go back open again and save now let me close this totally okay can you see the button is still checked now let me go here and close totally reopen again can you see the value is safe only this guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel have a nice day